So like if you're a black man, well, you could argue that you're oppressed because you're black, but what about the fact that you're a man? And so does that make you an oppressor or someone who's oppressed? And the answer is, as the revolution progresses, if there's any dimension along which you can be categorized as oppressor, you end up dead. And so that's part of the pathology of the equality of outcome. What do you mean doctrine. by that? Like you end up dead? You end up rounded up. You ended up being put into the oppressor camp, right? And but so, but there's only so far you can go with that, right? I mean, you can't put all men in the oppressor camp. There'd be no men left. Like, what do you? Well, that, but, you, yeah, but that—that that is exactly so you really the sort think of thing that plays out. Well, it is how it plays out. When I you mean, look for equality of outcome. Well, it is how it played out in the Soviet Union and China. I mean, in the Soviet Union, we don't know how many people died. The the, the reasonable estimates look like about 25 million. That's dead. That's not just, that's not imprisoned. That isn't families destroyed. That's just dead. And in, in Mao's China, it might have approximated 100 million. That's just internal repression. 